Welcome back to DXB Today. Now, COP28 is currently underway and we are bringing you absolutely everything. Everything you need to know about the conference itself all this week. Earlier today, Dua caught up with uh, Matt Brown. Matt's the Chief of Sustainability at Expo City Dubai to find out how they're representing sustainable urban planning and living through COP28 this year. Let's take a look. Thank you for joining us. Now, I am being joined by an accomplished event operations and planning director, integrating environmental and economic sustainability across the city through impactful innovations and collaborations. Please join me in welcoming to the studio our the Chief of Sustainability at Expo City Dubai, Matt Brown. Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Now, I'm really excited that you're here because obviously sustainability COP and you're the Chief of Sustainability at Expo Expo City. So for our viewers at home, could you enlighten us on how Expo City has really weaved in sustainability into everything that it's done? Yeah, sure. Um, certainly with, a, as you say, the, the proud sustainable hosts of, of COP28. But for us, um, going beyond COP28, for us it was about sustainability um, through everything that we do, creating a blueprint for sustainable living here at Expo City Dubai. So we've, we've been on a journey. Um, we, have a, we have a 2050 decarbonisation roadmap, as we call it, but we're trying to look at the full sustainability spectrum of, of, of everything from reducing carbon, certainly, um, as emissions from, from our city, all the way to some of our social programmes. Um, we've launched recently the likes of Expo City Farm um, with all the circularity and the, the decarbonisation efforts that that brings too. So it's quite a variety that we're trying to put in place for COP28 mm -hmm. and certainly from the standards that we raise to not take a step back as we move into 2024. Yeah, and obviously with the, with the green zone being open to the public, what are some of the sustainable elements that maybe um, guests can, can notice coming through COP? So I've noticed some of the, uh, the water bottles, sorry, no, no plastic and bring your own water bottle and refill stations. What are some uh, other things that our guests can kind of um, expect when they come down to COP? Yeah, quite, quite a variety, we hope, um, some of which are slightly more visible than others. Um, so to start at the broad broad level, what they're seeing when they come in is a 80% approximately of Expo City um, Dubai being reused from Expo 2020, which I hope tells its own sustainability story. Mm -hmm. um, the city itself is now, as per the recent agreement with DIWA, um, fully 100% powered from green renewable energy as oh, well, wow. from all the electricity flowing to, to run certainly the green zone. Um, and then the visible aspects, as you say, um, we have removed single-use plastic from the site. We care quite passionately about trying to move forward, certainly from an assurance perspective on, on that front, um, to a number of other different initiatives as well. We have a, a food rescue program in place for all of our different food and beverage outlets, uh, where we work with a number of partners from certainly a, a social program, but also helps with lowering carbon as well on that front. And a number of new items. Um, we have the existing Terra Sustainability Pavilion, obviously showcasing as our leading example venue here on site and a few new other ones, um, new ones such as the Expo City Farm, which visitors will see for the first time to get hands on. We've got workshops, we've got innovations, and we've got a range of different things that hopefully visitors won't have seen from previous visits to Expo City. Amazing, I can't wait to kind of get into everything. But you've mentioned partnerships and collaborations. Can you tell us a little bit more? If I look to an example such as the Expo City Farm that we've put in place, we've got six different partners that we work with there. So it's not just about um, the outdoor farming aspect with Emirates Biofarm, we've got um, a, a, a moisture to, to, to water capture through a company called Airjewel that will be the water gets reutilised into the indoor farm in the form of Alaska. Um, we've actually got a, a live cooking station which is actually then people having the ability to cook from the sustainable ingredients which come from the farm. So we're really trying to create that level of circularity within certainly on display in COP28, but here in place for, for the city going forwards. Oh, amazing. So I've absolutely loved this morning walking in and seeing all the school buses pull up and all the kids kind of coming in with their school teachers. How else are you working with the community to kind of really bring in that community engagement? We've also got a number of other um, social initiatives in place, whether that's the Expo Live Innovators program, whether that's the engagement with um, visitors through the likes of our what we call our Seeds for Change, where visitors are able to contribute themselves. We have a, a pledge for people and planet, um, certainly as, as engagement levels with all different types of parts of the community. Amazing. And what can we expect post-COP and into 2024 from Expo City Dubai? 
Yeah, so PaceCop for us really is about a longer term journey. Um, you, you'll start to see the arrival of a, a lot more tenants on site. Um, and then the, the main design and construction works are actually underway for some of our residencies um, coming in that people can see more from, from the sales centre we have on site. So we're trying to embed sustainability in everything we do, whether that's work with the different tenants. We don't have all the answers. We're looking to some of them to, to certainly work with us. And certainly the residents that are signing up to, 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 to different offers, again, getting sustainability embedded into all the design of the, the new buildings that will, that will come up here in the city. Well, incredible. We cannot wait to keep up with what's happening down here at Expo City Dubai. Thank you very much for joining us, Matt. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome back to the show. I am joined now by Rina. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So one of the questions that I like asking all the performers, when did your passion for music start? It's easy. I came from a family of musicians. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at first I started singing uh, when I was four years old and then I went to music school and started learning the piano. So. Okay. And do you write your own music as well? Yes, I'm a songwriter and composer and a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of hats. Yeah, yeah. Is there, anything, yeah, is there anything that you wrote that's coming out soon maybe? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a big project. Uh, a lot of musicians involved there, uh, okay. a lot of singers who is performing in Dubai. So I think it's going to be great. And is there any other projects that you're working on other than uh, performing? Um, not really, okay. uh, not really. Now we're in a break, you know, it's December, yeah. a lot of company, they're celebrating Christmas and New Year. So now all the musician family, our big musician family, they are concentrating on the um, um, commercial gigs, you know. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what did you have prepared for us for today? Yeah, this is a song uh, of my friends, actually. He wrote the... Um, uh, he wrote the lyrics and music and I made the arrangement and he said, wow, I like it. Yeah. You, you, should, you should sing this one. So I, I did my own version. Okay. So I'm going to perform it. I'm, I'm sure that we're going to be like, wow, you're going to yes. be performing that at, <laughs> towards the end of the I performance. Can, yeah. And where can people find you here? Uh, I have an Instagram page. Uh, it's Rina Marchuk. Follow, subscribe. I will update <laughs> soon uh, some, 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 some news okay. about the music, yeah, about That's the project. Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to have you get ready right now. Oh, thank you. And it's going to be over to you, Katie. Thanks so much, Ahmed. Looking forward to the performance a little bit later. Right, don't forget, if you want to catch up with all the behind the scenes and everything else from DXB today, make sure to check out us on YouTube. Make sure you look for at Dubai One TV. And of course, Instagram, we know you love it. Make sure you use the hashtag DXB today. You can also look for us there on Instagram at Dubai One TV. If you see anything in and around the city that we should know about. Flight we are. That's about it from all of us here in studio today. But do join us again around about the same time tomorrow as we'll be bringing you all the latest highlights from, yeah, you guessed it, COP28. Now, as promised, it's time for our performance of the evening. So it's over to Rina to take it away. Bye bye. Sunshine, sky, and a world for you. Happen. 
is dying tears it's all you girl eyes from Chicago girl eyes Girl, I you make me cry. No, no, girl, I you drive me mad. Dreaming, I'm thinking, worrying about you, trying to fly in a swim to you. Sunshine, sky, in the world for you. Happiness, joy, tears. Dreaming, I'm thinking, worrying about you. Drying and flying, I swim to you. Sunshine, sky, in the world for you. Happiness, joy, tears. It's all. You dream, thinking, worrying about you, try, fly, and swim to you, sunshine, sky, and world for you, happiness, joy, and tears. Girl Eliza, girl 